Side note real quick guys um, I you've seen my last couple of videos and couple of posts uh, I lost my area to do videos because I'm moving so I'm staying at the in-laws house so a lot of my videos will be outside or kind of just wherever I can get a quiet ish space to uh, to do some videos so uh, I hope to get back to normal by about mid to late July that's when we're gonna get our house in uh, and everything's settled right now we can't move in until mid-july because the house isn't ready yet so uh just bear with me and don't hold it against the videos it is what it is that's life and i think you guys can appreciate the realness right yeah hey guys so a couple weeks back uh andy the gun guy who is on youtube and instagram uh hit me up via email which he got from Advant Links. So if you guys don't know, I have a few uh, links that enable me to share products with you guys, and I get a little bit of commission off of it, but doesn't charge you guys a thing. It's just uh, basically a way of giving me a little bit of kickback for getting their products out there. So he was able to get my t contact information from there, and uh, he kind of reached out to me and just wanted to know kind of a little bit about my channel, what I did, how I carried, and kind of what I carried. And during our discussions, I mentioned two of my uh, carry guns that are kind of in my rotation right now, depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing. I mostly switch up between these two, and it's the Ruger Max 9 and the Glock 43X. Um, no really particular reason, just that's what I like to carry right now. Now, my Glock, you'll see, has a comp on it, so yes it does stick out from the holster but that is not anything abnormal that's just my compensator nothing crazy there so andy just wanted me to uh he wanted to send me out some products he said uh hey what do you carry how do you carry and what type of holsters do you like leather kydex etc etc i told him you know i'm a fan of kydex that's just me i like the protection that it offers and the durability and i'm just not really a leather guy um for a revolver or something sure but not for like everyday carry and you know the more striker fired types of uh handguns i just i just don't prefer leather so he went ahead and sent me out completely free these two holsters from 1791 gun leather now these are there's a subsidiary of 1791 gun leather which is 1791 tactical and that's where the kydex line falls under and that's why they are labeled as such 1791 tactical um so i'm just gonna go through these holsters today kind of talk about them a little bit and then i'll show them actually me uh actually appendix carrying them and drawing from them and just kind of giving a feel there was no you know hey i need a positive review just hey see how they are let me know do a video on them review them and then uh you know the holster's yours man so uh that was pretty awesome so let's go ahead and walk through the glock 43x holster so nothing uh nothing crazy guys i mean you guys have seen kydex holsters you've seen one you've seen them all however there are a few things that make this one unique so first of all it is open which i do appreciate for people who run accessories and things like that when you go to put it in it's not cut just for the firearm and then it some of them they're blocked off on the end here so you can't you'd have to mill it out yourself in order to fit your compensator through there. So I didn't have to do anything like that. So I appreciate the open end here. Um, second thing that's pretty noticeable is where most people are doing the claw or the wing now, and it's, you know, screwed on and it can be adjustable and you can add things to it. This one is molded in and I like it, but I don't like it. So um, I like that it's there because some, holsters don't offer it at all and you know that's a big drawback so what this does if you don't know is when you run this through your belt you know it clips onto your belt and your waistband your belt will naturally rest here and pull on it and it pulls the grip so it'll pull the grip closer to your body helping aid in concealment so the the intent is you draw your belt tight 
and it pulls it closer to your body and you're good. But for me, with all the options that are out there today, uh, this is just a bit too small. It doesn't really draw the the grip in for me personally. Maybe some people it may, but um, I have some pretty aggressive claws or wings on other holsters, and this one just doesn't really do enough for me and there's no way to adjust it because again it's molded in it's not something i could just unscrew and add a bigger claw or bigger wing onto uh it it, it is what it is um other than that really not a lot to complain about it does have a single clip here um i checked the website i don't believe they offer different clip options right now but that may be something that comes in the future or you could just shoot them an email and be like hey can i change up the clip style because i do maybe prefer the double clip option and maybe a, i would prefer metal uh clips just for longevity um this one's been fine no, no issues good retention stays on my belt clips in nice it does have this really aggressive hook here so it's not going to slip off or do anything crazy it's not going to come off of your belt when you're drawing it's going to be nice and secure and it's adjustable um you can unscrew the screw here and it you can cant it a little bit depending on you know what your needs are and it is cut for raised sights so if you have suppressor height sights or one-third co-witness sights like i have this will accommodate those without any extra you know work that's just standard um so when you throw these in there it has good coverage it locks in on the trigger guard so that's where all your retention is is on that trigger guard there um one thing i wish it would do i wish it would come over further and cover up the mag release in for in the waistband options or concealed carry options it's not the end of the world um because it's, you know nobody's gonna get to it but i just i don't know for some reason if you had some just really janky weird stuff in your pocket or your belt buckles for some odd particular weird reason just happened to push this depending on how you're sitting or moving i would just prefer it would be covered but not the, like i said not the end of the world it does have a nice high uh, or mid sweat guard here so it does cover the length of the slide so you're not getting your sweaty nasty body oils all over your uh, your slide there if that's a concern overall not really a bad holster Moving on to the Ruger Max 9. So, again, you know, kind of same deal. I'm not going to go over every single detail because, obviously, the only thing that's really different is the cut for the manufacturer. So, again, I wish it covered this mag release here, but not the end of the world. Similar, you know, everything is exactly the same. It does have the molded-in claw wing whatever you want to call it and again it's marked 1791 tactical the same clip same everything still cut for raised sights if you were to happen to run those and other than that not really much difference so one thing i do want to compare right now is with the ruger max 9 the 1791 tactical holster with one that you can get off of amazon and just kind of see what the differences are and what you're getting for your money all right so here we've got the 1791 Tactical Ruger Max 9 holster. And here we have an Amazon special. This is the CYA Supply Company holster. Now, I had originally bought this when I first got my Max 9 just to have something to carry it in until I got my custom holsters that I ordered um, from Bordertown Holsters. Now, I'm always looking for different options, always looking for more comfortable ways to carry, so I can never have too many holsters. So, looking at them side by side, you'll notice that the sweat guard and the overall shell is a little taller on the CYA model. Now, why that is, is because the CYA model does cover the mag release here so that is a positive however you'll see it does have a little bit looser <coughs> retention so you know where that wiggles a bit a little bit the 1791 doesn't wiggle nearly as much at all it's very very tight nice fitting the cya little bit more loose you know it's a it's you know, this is a $30 holster. So it's actually under $30. It's like 
$27.99 or something like that on Amazon. So it's, it's a very cheap, inexpensive option. So when you compare it, it's a little taller, but it does cover the mag release where the 1791 Tactical does not. The 1791 Tactical has a built-in claw wing to aid in concealability if it works for you. CYA doesn't, nor does it have an option to screw one in. Could you do it yourself? Yes, but why would you waste time and money on a holster that costs $30? You'd be spending more in parts than what this thing is worth. So, you know, off the bat, 1791 holster offers more features. Now, it is more money. So this is $30, this is, you know, just over $60. <clears throat> Pros and cons, by the time you did anything to this to make it, you know, have the claw, have a little bit tighter retention, you, you'd be about the same price point. So, you know, you kind of got to make that decision for you. I would lean towards the 1791 tactical holster if you have the money, but the CYA is a close second for about half the price and it does cover the mag release. So that's where this little bump out right here, that's where the mag release is where the 1791 is cut at an angle to be, you know, a little bit more streamlined. Uh, sweat guard's a little higher, but with the 1791, there's only just a minimal portion of the slide that isn't covered by the sweat guard, whereas the CYA goes the entire length of the slide. So there's, there's a little bit of trade-offs, but the feel and quality of the 1791 is definitely better than that of the CYA. The, it, it's loose. It, you know, it, it does have retention. It's going to hold your pistol. It's not going to do anything crazy. I've carried with it. It's fine. But, you know, if you could spend, you know, 25, 30 more dollars, the 1791 is the way to go. So let's stop talking as much. Let's go ahead and uh, throw these guys in the holsters and I'll go ahead and throw them in the waistband and we'll talk about it and do a couple draws to show the retention and uh, go from there. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I've got the Glock 43X in the 1791 tactical holster right here. So I have Pangos carry. You guys know that by now. So holster is pretty good. It, uh, you know, it keeps everything nice and you know, I wouldn't say it's a deep conceal, but it's it's about a mid, so I can get a good, you know, good grip on the uh, the handle here, and I can pull out, and I'm not digging down in my pants for it. It's not so high as to where it's riding really high up into my belly button and being really weird. Um, so I don't know if you can see here, the claw wing doesn't really pull this grip in as much as I would like. So I don't know. I don't really wear baggy t-shirts. I don't wear super skin tight ones either. But you can see just a little bit of printing from the handle right here where I don't get from a lot of other, you know, holster options. But that's because they have really aggressive claws. That's pretty much a subjective thing, how much you like, what you wear. I mean, for this, maybe I just have to wear a little bit bigger of a t-shirt, not the end of the world. But I'm not going to go out and replace my entire wardrobe because of it. So it is what it is. So, you know, these holsters, it, like I said, this clip here, this is a uh, Core Essentials belt, but the clip on the holster holds in really nice. It's not going anywhere. The clip here, it hooks around my Core Essentials belt really nice. It's not going anywhere. I'm, it's not going to pull off if I try to draw my weapon, you know. It holds really nice. It's not going anywhere, guys. So, again, 1791 Tactical good retention holster didn't move it's not going anywhere it's not all over the place I do wish that claw was just a little bit more aggressive to pull this handle in just a little bit more but you know like I said that's subjective if I had a little bit bigger of a shirt it wouldn't be as big of an issue you wouldn't really see that printing there um, and again you're more hyper vigilant to the printing because you know it's there other people aren't just looking at your crotch or you know, abdomen area, like, is he carrying? Is he carrying? We just subjectively, kind of subconsciously think that in the back of our heads because we know we're carrying. So again, it's not going anywhere. Good retention, very positive. It's very firm. I don't know, guys. I, I like them. I appreciate Andy, the gun guy, reaching out to me. Guys, check out Andy the Gun Guy's channel, his Instagram, and more importantly, check out 1791 Gun Leather and their tactical line of Kydex holsters. 
if you guys have any questions, reach out to me in the comments. Reach out to Andy the Gun Guy. Um, let me know what I can do for you to answer and uh, show you guys anything that you might want to see uh, more about these holsters or have any other questions that I kind of maybe didn't go over or I kind of just didn't even think about because it's so natural. So uh, that's the 1791 gun leather tactical line of holsters and uh, for the Ruger Max 9 and the Glock 43X. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Andy. I will link these products in the description and uh, have a good day guys. Love you.